Hi everybody, it's Linnea for Simon Hurley Create and I have another really easy and fun project for you. I'm going to be using some Simon Hurley Create stamping foam for my project today. This is something that I like to look around my house and find different things to use this with. So I actually have this silicone hot pad type thing from my kitchen and it has this amazing honeycomb texture to it and I thought how cute it would be on a background. So I'm going to heat up my Simon Hurley Create stamping foam for 10 to 15 seconds with my heat gun and then quickly and firmly press this into that silicone um, hot pad. And now I have transferred that honeycomb pattern onto the stamping foam, and I can use my Simon Hurley Create dye inks to create a background. I'm using three colors of inks, Slippery When Wet, um, Over the Moon, and Guppy. So Over the Moon is actually my lightest, and then Slippery When Wet is my medium, and then Guppy is my darkest. When you're using the stamping foam, rather than inking like you would a normal stamp using like an up and down motion, you want to swipe your inks onto the stamping foam. You'll get a better coverage that way. And then I like to just spritz this once or twice with some clean water from my Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer. And then I'm going to press this down firmly onto a piece of Simon Hurley Create Stark White cardstock. I'm giving that just a couple of seconds for the ink to transfer and check that out. It's such a fun pattern. And you can then just reheat that Simon Hurley Create stamping foam and it'll flatten back out. You can do this with hundreds of patterns of different things throughout your house. For the images for my card, I'm going to be using the new Fresh Cut Flowers Slimline Peel Apart Background Stamp. I was so excited to see Simon Hurley Create bring his peel apart background stamps to slimline size. Uh, it's just really fun. I love these peel apart background stamps because you can use them as one complete piece or you can take apart this stamp and just stamp individual pieces. So because this is a cling stamp set, I have removed that foam insert from my Misty. Then I'm using some black ink to stamp out some of these flowers from the Fresh Cut Clou Flowers Slimline Peel Apart Background Stamp. I'm going to color these flowers white just so that they don't clash with the background. I love to have white flowers. I think they're really classic. So I'm going to just color with a C2 Copic marker, following the that little center slash line that's on each of the petals, and then also adding just a little dot of color at the base of the petal, and then blending that out with a colorless blender. For the centers of the flowers, I could have gone with any color, but I decided to go with some earth browns. I thought a while about doing a black center, but I thought that the earth brown color would look good with the um, kind of honeycomb yellow background color that I have. So I just dotted in some dark color and then blended that out with a lighter color. For my leaves, I'm using YG09, YG06, and YG03 just adding some of my darkest color around that center vein and then blending that out with my medium and then all over with my lightest. Really easy coloring. Now of course I needed a little bee to go with that honeycomb background so I found this little bee from the Flower Picking Friends stamp set. This is another great stamp set with large floral images and these cute little insects. So I just stamped him and I'm going to color him in really simply using a Y17, Y15 yellow combination and then a C7 and C5 combination for the black. Then I will fussy cut my scissors or using my scissors to fussy cut out all these flowers. I went ahead and added some black watercolor spatters to that honeycomb background. Then I die cut that background with a stitched rectangle die and mounted that onto a piece of yellow cardstock that I also cut with a larger stitched rectangle die. And then all of that is going to go onto a white card base. So I just have some nice layers of color here. I'm going to start arranging my flowers the way I want them to be on my uh, stamping foam background. And then I'll place that little bee. I'm going to have him go up in the top right hand corner. I knew that I wanted a sentiment from the um, lovely Lantana's stamp set. That's my favorite sentiment right now. I think it's such a pretty sentiment. And so I stamped that with black and then I'm just going to add my flowers around the edges. I thought about trimming them off. In fact, I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I think I like it hanging off and I'll just add this to a five by seven envelope when I mail it. 
So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this card. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye. Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.